In this video, we'll review how to factor polynomials. The first type of factoring involves pulling out common factors. So in a polynomial like this, we want to try to find a common factor among all of the terms here. And since all of the terms involve x to some power, we want to take the smallest power of x and factor that out of each of our terms. In this case, the smallest power of x is x squared, and so that's what we're going to factor out first. So if we factor out x squared, what's left over? Well, in the first term, we had 4x to the fifth, and remember, x to the fifth just means 5x's all multiplied together. So if we remove two of those x's, then what's left is 3x's, 4x cubed. Similarly, in the second term, we had x to the fourth, but then we pulled out x squared, and so what's left is x squared. Finally, we had 6x squared, and when we pulled out the x squared, all that's left over is the 6. Now there's one more step that we can do to pull out a common factor here, and that's to look at the coefficients. You might notice that all of the coefficients here are even. 4, negative 2, and 6 are all even numbers. So that means that we can pull out a factor of 2. And in fact, we could have pulled out 2x squared all at once at the beginning. So now we're not dealing with the x's, now we're dealing with the coefficients. So what happens when we factor a 2 out of 4? Well, 4 is 2 times 2, so when we factor out a 2, we're left with 2. What about when we pull a 2 out of negative 2? Well, that's going to leave us with negative 1, so we'll have negative 1x squared, which we usually just write as negative x squared. And then finally, what do we get when we factor 2 out of 6? Well, 6 is 2 times 3, so when we factor out that 2, we're just left with the 3. So this is what this looks like factored. Now, when we factor quadratics, especially quadratics that have a 1 as the coefficient of the x squared, we think about it slightly differently. There's no common factor we can pull out here. But we think that since this is quadratic, and the coefficient of the x squared is 1, it's going to factor as something like x plus or minus some number times x plus or minus some number. And now it's our job to think about what those two numbers are. So what are these two numbers? Well, there's two things that we know about these two numbers. One is that they have to multiply to give you negative 30. And they have to add to give you negative 7. That's what these coefficients here tell us. This coefficient of x is the sum of the two numbers that we're looking for, and this coefficient, the constant term, is the product of the two numbers we're looking for. So at this point, it's just trial and error. Can we think of two numbers that multiply together to give you negative 30 and add together to give you negative 7? So let's start thinking about ways that we can factor negative 30. Well, 30 is 3 times 10, so negative 30 could be negative 10 and positive 3. Does that work? Well, the sum of those two numbers is negative 7, and so that's what it is. Negative 10, positive 3. So sometimes you'll get it right away, and sometimes it'll take a lot of trial and error. What about this one? x squared minus 8x plus 12. So once again, this is a quadratic, and the coefficient of x squared is 1, so we think that this might factor as x plus or minus something times x plus or minus something. And the two somethings that we're looking for have to multiply to give you positive 12 and add to give you negative 8. Now, since the numbers have to add up together to be negative 8, at least one of those numbers has to be negative. But since the product of those two numbers is positive 12, if one of the two numbers is negative, then the other one has to be also. Otherwise, their product would be negative. So it has to be two negative numbers that we're thinking of here. So what could be two numbers, negative numbers, that multiply together to give me negative 12? Well, how can we factor 12? How about minus 3 and minus 4? Well, the product is right. Minus 3 times minus 4 really is positive 12. But the sum is wrong. Negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7, and I want negative 8. So that's not right. Let's try something else. What about negative 6 and negative 2? The product of those two numbers is positive 12, and the sum of those two numbers is really negative 8. So that's what it is. So in our parentheses, we write minus 6, minus 2. 
Another common factoring trick that we see sometimes is the difference of two squares. If we ever see something that looks like x squared minus a squared, we can factor that as x minus a times x plus a. So in this example, we've got x squared minus 36, and so the a squared is 36. So if a squared is 36, that means a is going to be 6, or negative 6, but that would work out the same way. And that means that this factors as x minus 6 and x plus 6. So that can be a quick way to factor something that looks like this form. A little variation of this would be something that looks like n to the fourth minus 81. First of all, don't freak out that I've got an n there instead of an x, right? n is just a variable just like x is. So just pretend that that's an x if that makes you feel better. And so if we've got n to the fourth minus 81, so the 81 is the a squared. So a squared is 81, and so that means that my a that I'm looking for is 9. What about the n to the fourth, though? Well, that means that the n to the fourth is my x squared. And so what would I square to get n to the fourth? Well, if you think about it a little bit, if I square n squared, that gives me n to the fourth n squared squared, that's n times n times n times n, that's n to the fourth. So that means that this factors as n squared minus 9 times n squared plus 9. But wait, we're not done. Because if we look at n squared minus 9, that is once again a difference of two squares. 9 is 3 squared, so that means this factors as n minus 3 times n plus 3. Now the n squared plus 9 does not factor because that's a sum of two squares, and sum of two squares doesn't factor easily, but the difference of two squares does. This is a little tricky variation of the difference of two squares.